Hey guys, Lucy Preston here, leader with Unique, and I am gonna to talk to you right now about skin and the different skin types. Hopefully by the end of this video, you are gonna be able to take a look at your own skin and decide what kind of skin you have. So in a nutshell, we have four different skin types, dry, oily, combination, normal, and some people have sensitive skin. So let's start with dry skin. People with dry skin may, may feel tight, um, they might have scaly patches on their skin and unfortunately premature wrinkles. Yeah, that's right, more visible lines. And they could experience less uh, elasticity in their skin, certainly a dullness to their skin. You may also experience red patches, a rough complexion and your pores are almost invisible. Moving on, let's talk about oily skin, which is the complete opposite. If you've got oily skin, you might find that you need to retouch your makeup all the time because it just seems to slide off your face. You may also experience enlarged pores, dullness, shine, and a thick complexion. The most common skin type is actually combination skin, which means that you've got a bit of both, a bit of oily and a bit of dry you will find that you have a shiny t-zone which is like your forehead your nose and your chin along with the shine you might experience larger pores in your t-zone and then everywhere else is just dry 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 then we've got normal skin normal skin is often really difficult to find and we normally describe it as not dry and not oily so normal skin usually have small pores that are not engorged. They don't really have much shine. There's not really a dullness to the skin. They usually have an even skin tone with not very many blemishes. And they also don't have an excess of fine lines and wrinkles. Finally, just to touch on sensitive skin. Sensitive skin can be really irritable. You can often find yourself itching and scratching it. It's swollen, it's red, um, and the sensations can often be burning and prickling. So tell me, what kind of skin do you have? Feel free to post it in the comments, what kind of skin you have, or if you're having some difficulty, then please put comment below and I will try my best to help you decide what kind of skin type you are. And it's super important that you do know your skin type because what's coming is very exciting.